If you have to get up and leave, try to do so quietly. And um, juniors, let's wait till that transition happens and then the next person can come on up. Okay? Um, I just want to say a little bit about this poetry unit. What you're going to see in here today, if you looked at the displays, there are three poems for each student that are presented here. And you will hear or see two poems from each student. So you're seeing five. They wrote 20 for the student. And so you're just seeing a small sample of what they did. And since the first day of school in August, when we started talking about the poetry unit, there's been a lot of grumbling and a lot of, I don't want to do it, right? Yes, yes. yes. Okay. Um, but I hope what you're able to, to see and hear today, I hope what you're able to see and hear today is that um, these guys, these students have a lot to say. They have some great thoughts just about life itself, and I'm um, excited for you guys to get to hear a small sample of that. So, we'll start with our first student. Hi, 
High school is busy, especially in a small town where I do everything. But I want to do it all. How am I supposed to make time for all of it? I want a life outside of school and sports too. I want time for working. I want time for hobbies. I want time for relaxing. I want time for sleeping. I want time with my family and friends. I don't always want to make time for everything else. I want time for me. As I sit in my chair, I pour and pour my heart out in a piece of writing. Suddenly the abyss of nothingness sweeps through and I draw a blank. Like a psychiatric cell with bright white padded walls, blinding lights full of nothingness. My mind is clueless to the brilliant ideas in moments ago I just shared. Yet they vanished, just like a sandcastle on high tide, washed away. By a wave of sporadic nothingness and random thoughts. Like an overly caffeinated child bouncing off the walls, and like swarms of endless thoughts, but that's all they are. Simply thoughts, ideas too quickly vanish to be shared, and sometimes too mindless to be shared and used. The blankness isn't always blank, you see. To people like me, ideas come and go in a steady stream, but rarely stay and enjoy the show. The performance of my work, yes, the outcome may vary, but the ideas are seemingly endless in the emptiness of my mind. And once again, I recollect myself and start my steady stream of work until a high tide comes again and washes away my brilliance. Whose fault was it? Was it mine? Was it really all me? I'm still not sure. I pray it wasn't. I pray I didn't do this on my own. I pray I didn't teach myself how to love me. I remember fighting it, but when beauty is fade, you just let it hurt. I thought it was worth it. It was covered. It was my secret. How would anybody know? I didn't, when my face was made. Then I realized, it really was me. I was great at sabotaging myself, at demanding me to reach the horizon, at staring at mirrors while I cried. I was great at comparing myself to things that weren't even real. I'd fight in hunger. I was a professional. I hated myself when I tried my best. I'd erase the parts that I didn't like. I rejected myself. I was too good at it. And I still reached for better. together your favorite songs, we will still complain about who has to set the table, or wash the dishes, or whatever excuse you would find. We used to spend hours together, and those hours felt like minutes, and the minutes like seconds. Because I didn't have to pretend, because the days were shorter, we were smaller, seeing shine in your smile, and suddenly you slowed that sunset of sensation of safety through that sparkle of yours, and the sun just sails away through that shining sea saying goodbye. Will it be the same as it was? I see you through the screen. You look happier, older. You don't need me anymore. You're not a kid anymore. We are not kids anymore. You found your way, and I'll miss you forever. Will it be the same as it was? Now you're gone. You moved away from home. There'll always be an empty room next to mine. I'll come back, and I won't be just fine. I won't be there, you won't be there waiting for me, and it will hurt, knowing that you're free. It won't be the same as it was, but the wound will heal when I remember those times. And I'll always remind you that whenever you're happy, I'll be happy too. Why do we want that from people who really don't care? 
I would love to be liked by you. But we don't. You didn't talk. I don't ask for your advice. And you, while you're leaving, but you, we might not even talk. A lifelong best friend who talks to me every day, who here in a couple of hours is going to help me pack, who always checking up on me, who gives me her advice and opinions when, I think, when she thinks it's needed. She likes me, and that's all I need.
I believe in unexpected smiles, making people's days, making new friends, because why not? Going out of your way to help someone, making everyone feel like they matter. And the power of positive thinking, encouragement, laughing, and happiness. But the belief that it's cool to be mean to your friends just because it was funny is astronomically stupid. I believe in the louder the music, the better. I believe that if your abs don't hurt after laughing, you have not laughed hard enough. I believe in cheering people on because they're doing their best, striving, loving, and smiling. I believe in being kind because you never know how people view what you say to them, even though it's just a joke. Fitting in, it can be hard. Finding that posse that you want to spend time with, of course, you want to be a cool kid. Who doesn't? You'll do anything just to fit in. Do something you don't just to get the attention. Trust me, it's not worth it. You'll be fine. Don't be someone you're not just to fit into the group. A few years from now, it won't even matter. You probably want to remember in the first place why you wanted to get into the, into the group. Fitting in, on the other hand, it can be easy. You just have your few friends that you have forever, and you stick together, and you have fun. It doesn't matter. They don't care what you do, and they don't care who you are. They'll love you for you. It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks of you. You'll be just fine. Yes, fitting in, it can be hard, but it can also be easy. Go with the flow, and don't try so hard to fit in, but make it easy to stand out. I don't want to write at all. I can't write the words. I can't express the need. I can't explain my thoughts. I don't want to write a poem. Instead, I'll write a sentence. Instead, I'll write a song. Instead, I'll even read a book. I'll do literally anything else than write a poem. I don't want to write a poem. But sometimes, I also don't want to get up from bed. Sometimes, I don't want to go to work. But sometimes, I don't want to go to school. And yet, I do. And yet, I will continue to. I really don't want to write a poem. But here I am. <laughs> Running through the motions of being human, socializing and talking with each other, so many crowded rooms. It's okay to come out of my bubble, be social and talk with each other, but I like my bubble, the calm, cool sanity to the world, even though it doesn't always feel like it. Away my thoughts, I have no care in the world to share or feel what I'm thinking. It's my safe space, my bubble. A year ago, I asked myself, am I ready? I've been looking forward to this, been waiting such a long time, and now it's finally here. Am I ready? A whole year of planning and preparing and I was never worried. Why wouldn't everyone take this opportunity? Am I ready? I'm about to leave everything familiar and live apart from all I've ever known. But I have never questioned and just been excited. And now that I came down in my last week, I keep asking myself the same. Am I ready?
stress of having to go to school, stress of having to go to work, stress of keeping friendships. I'm only 16, I need a break. Can't keep living like this. I'm tired of going to school, I'm tired of having to go to work, I'm tired of friends and people in general. My mental health is going down like a roller coaster going over its beat. I can't find time to get better, but that's all I want. I'm only 16, I really need a break. Music is more than words, although words can mean a lot. It's a feeling. <clears throat> Music can make you feel every emotion, every emotion within three minutes. Music comes with stereotypes. Heavy metal makes you angry, country makes you sad, and rap makes you angry. Well, <laughs> one of those is true.
A day never goes by when you're not in my thoughts. Sometimes it's harder than others, but every day it gets a little bit easier. A little bit easier to take one small step at a time. You would want me to move on, but as life moves on, the memories of you stay. So every day I take one more big step for you. Sunsets, the stars, glow sticks, fireflies, the smell of freshly cut grass, and jumping into a pool on a hot day. I will put in the box the noise of crackling fire, the smell of freshly baked cookies, jumping into a pile of leaves, and all pumpkin baked goods. I will put in the box volleyball tournaments, breakfast burritos, the bun of a team, and championship game points. My box will be made of glass, clear as can be, so that everyone can see all the wonderful things that the world can be. And then with my box, I'll set it next to my bed by my alarm clock so that every time I check the time, I can rewind and remind myself of all the good things in life. Meeting my own expectations is tough, but of course they're higher than other people's expectations of me. But that's just how my mind and lots of other people's minds think. We always have those goals in our head, and when I don't meet those goals in my head, I get frustrated, I get discouraged. I'm never satisfied with the results. I always feel like I can do better. But that keeps me trying and pushing for better. I believe in myself to meet those expectations. Yeah, sure, it helps to have other people that believe in you, but you have to believe in yourself. I, be I believe in the ability to mind, the ability to think, to create life-changing things. Evil exists in the mind, though. It flows with money, the government, and the elite. The mind is truly a unique gift, but like I said, it is the source of evil, unless you keep a clean conscience. I believe in the freedom we have, although freedom isn't free and we are never truly free. I believe that to be happy, you must be happy with yourself first. I believe that everyone deserves a shred of decency and respect. You never know what they might have gone through or what they've seen in life. I believe in the fact that there never may be a second chance. So live your life to the fullest and grab every opportunity you can. I'm lucky to have a best friend no one else has. It wasn't like that for a while. Something changed. But I can say now, 
Bài nhóm trẻ Sometimes I wish I could put moments in jars Like the jam on my shelf or the fruits in my basement I wish I could keep them as fresh as they are And when I open the lid, I can live them again Wouldn't that be nice? A collection of moments that matter the most A handful of jars in a secret place But wait, when I come to think about it The moments I want to remember the most I have all of them I don't need a jar to remember Because the feelings you feel and the thoughts you think can't get lost. They're right here and right here. Always on the run. Never time to just sit and watch the sunset and sunrise. Work, work, work. I'm like a Clyde still, always working. Everyone always tells me to slow down. But there is no time. Keep your grades up. Do sports. Help on the farm. So much pressure always. Never time to sit. Go, go, go and never stop. You are always told to do this and that. But then you are also told to slow down and live your life. You're just in high school. Have some fun. All these standards that I'm supposed to meet. But sometimes I just want to stop, sit, and watch the sunset.
all of the flowers and plants you loved and cared for. If heaven had visiting hours, you would definitely be the one I would see. But why you? That is the question I will ask myself every single day. Why you? Oh my gosh. Why don't people online just keep their opinion to themselves? Do they think we actually care what they say? I, I can't believe they posted this. They have absolutely no right. This is, why, why would we even care? It's not even about them. People are just so distracted and self-involved these days. I just can't believe this. Like, could they do literally anything else? Oh, I'm sorry, did you say something? I had not hear. I was on my phone. One wrong letter, and you're out. Instantly judged, and out of the competition. But it's okay to make up your own words, and spell your own way of life. Just because I'm from the city, don't think I can't appreciate rule. Don't act like I've never seen a tractor. I'm happy to help work in the pasture. Just because I'm from the city, it doesn't mean I'm spoiled or I don't want to get my hands dirty. It doesn't mean I need scooters and food deliveries. Just because I'm from the city, I can still wear boots and flannels. I can still enjoy a rodeo. Just because I'm from the city, let me join FFA events. Teach me how to change oil. Include me in farm work.
The fear of graduating in a year, but the relief of knowing I have a plan. The fear of not, not quite getting the assignment done on time, but the relief when the teacher says you can use today to work on it. The relief of knowing it, leaving everything you've ever known, but the relief of knowing I'll have someone on my side every step of the way. The fear of losing your loved ones, but the relief of all the memories you have with them. The fear of everything falling apart around you. The fear of not knowing what comes next, of what's going to happen to me, of life, of where life's taking you. But the relief of knowing all things happen for a reason. Home, the place you feel the safest. When you look around and see the faces of your family or loved ones, the people or the places you value the most. Those memories you hold dearest to your heart. Home is like a heaven, where your laughter never ends and tears are not sad or happy. Home is all the little blessings in your life. People say home is not a place, but the people. I think the truth is that home is where your heart really lies. Life is like a game. You never know what's going to happen next, who you'll meet, and what cards you'll be dealt. Some get rich, some don't. Some things go your way, and some things don't. But life is like a game. It all depends on how you play. And in the end, everyone's cards gets put away. Wanting to run, wanting to hide, in spite of change, and the way things change. With the people with glass hearts, shattered and alone. Love to pick up the pieces, but it hurts too much. The cuts, the burns, the pain to one simple thing. Change. Something to fear, but a chance to move on. What is it like to be a twin? Is it fun? Is it annoying to have someone just like you? Here's what I tell them every time. Being a twin is like having a built-in best friend. Having someone there for you whenever you need it. A shoulder to cry on, a person to laugh with, and sure, there are the ups and downs. We argue over the smallest things, but we make up in just a few minutes. Sometimes we share, but sometimes we don't. We can tell each other everything, and we know when the other, other is hurt. It's kind of like a superpower. You are so lucky. I wish I had a twin. Yeah, I am lucky, because I have the best twin out there. Change. Change is inevitable. Everyone and everything changes, from the luscious green leaves to the fall red leaves. I have not experienced a lot of change in my life, but I will. In a few years, I'll be going to college, away from everything and everyone I've ever known. My sister, who have been there for the last 17 years of my life, and I, we might go to different schools. Living a few hours apart would be a huge change. A change that I'm not ready for, but everyone has to go through it. With that change, you'll have to adapt, but it'll be worth it. Change, it can be hard, but it can be easy. It all depends on the way you look at it. For me, it will be a chance to live my own life. But on the other hand, we have never gone three days without seeing each other. FaceTimes are a must, and late nights, calls are a noise. But in the end, we will always be there for each other. It will just be a change for us. What defines me? Is it the race that I am? What defines me? Is it the color of my skin? What defines me? Is it the shape of my eyes? What defines me? Is it the cultural background I have? What defines me? Is it how young I am compared to some people? What defines me? Is it my height compared to some people? This list I just stated should not define me. This list has traits in history that I cannot change. I am proud of who I am and where I came from. My race, skin tone, eyes, Cultural background, age, and height will never define me. I define who I am and what my future will be. I fill my box with memories of late nights out with my family. Memories of celebrating with the team after a win. Memories of just relaxing with my family. I will fill my box with memories of family dinners, memories of the first time I met my friends, memory, memories of going out with my friends. I will fill my box with memories of having team dinners, memories of laughs I shared with people, memories of doing stupid things for fun. 
My boss will be my TV. The screen plays the memories for me to watch. For me to watch and remember all the happy times. The happy times um, I spent with the people that I care about. My boss, my boss will be on display in my mind. Where I will go to be happy. Escape and watch all my happy memories. Mem watch my memories on repeat in my mind. Will the memory stay? Once the day has passed, will I remember? Once the week is over, will I forget? Once the year has gone by, will everything fade? Life is temporary, so enjoy every moment. But if I don't remember, then what is it for? If the memories don't stay, then what is there left? Closed. Are you in your period? You're smart for a girl. She was asking for it. And a feminist. Why? Because I want to, but only because I can. I am a feminist. No shame. I am proud of fighting like a girl. Has anyone fought harder than women? This is not about making women stronger. We already are. Feminazi? Anti man? I wonder if you're mad. I wonder if you feel identified with the chauvinist I describe. Home. In 20 years, I will still go back there. I will still know that feeling. I will still never fear. They say it's family, a dad, a mom, friends. But it's the joy of comfort, repairing a person, curing. But when the last time comes, it will still be unforgettable. Not for me, but for my sister. 
Fear of the unstable ankle prevents me from doing many things, but it's a fear I can prevent by getting stronger. Fear of many months of healing has been met, but not in some ways. I don't have... Sorry. I don't have to worry because it's better. But there's still a fear that something can happen. Fear of everyone watching is something that I deal with every basketball game and every presentation. Fear of knowing the possibilities out there. I know them now. The urge of saving someone from a fire and all the possibilities. The fear of should I hold on or should I bail is an everyday thing. With that friendship or with my reputation. Fear of never getting over my fears. I think they deserve a big round of applause. They're probably just really glad that it's over, but I hope you heard some great things today. I know I certainly did. And um, for the students who came up after the program this was over, uh, I think it's really great for them to do this. Uh, yes, they get a little bit of extra credit. But um, I think it's, it's really special that they chose to get up to do this. So big round of applause for them. Thank you all for coming. <laughs> Students, you get to return to the end of eighth hour. And juniors, please stay to pick everything up. Thanks for coming.